Hi there, Jamie Key here today at Teachers Tech. Hope everyone's having a great day today. Today, we're going to look at a program called Canva. And Canva, what it does for you is you can create some beautiful designs on here very easily, and it's free to use. It has thousands of templates from everything from presentations to social media, uh, so many different ways you can use it uh, for business, for personal, or inside the classroom. So let's take a look at Canva today. So I'm just on canva.com. I'll put the link down below in my description here to get to it. Uh, and you can see that there's different ways to log in to create your account. Uh, so you can have your Facebook, you can connect it with your Facebook, or you can sign in with Google, or create your own account through your email. Uh, in my case right here, I'm going to sign it through, up through my Google account here. Uh, when it opens up, you'll be able to see uh, some of my saved stuff that I've kind of played around with um, up I just clicked on that, but I'm just going to uh, exit out. I'll click on these later, but it shows different ones that I've been playing around with. What I tend to use Canva for a lot of times is my YouTube thumbnails or my channel art. And I'm going to do a different video on my channel art, how to use YouTube with channel art. Uh, but for this purpose, for the purposes here, I'm going to want to show you the kind of general overview of Canva. So up top, what you can see here is uh, the start of the templates here. Uh, but if you didn't want to use a template, you can go right to a custom design right up here by using uh, this custom design. If you know the width and the height in pixels or millimeters or inches, go ahead and enter it in there and then you're going to get a blank template to work with. But what I like is uh, what I want to work with is uh, are the uh, templates today because there's just so many to choose from here. Uh, I'm just going to hit the more here and uh, you'll get to see and I'll just uh, I'm not going to click on every one but I'll just kind of give you an idea of some of the popular ones here uh, you can see uh, from social media to presentations to posters Facebook um, I'm just going to scroll down you can get an idea of uh, what uh, what you can create here more social media posts you can create documents um, for school if you need a, a certificate there's uh, some great options for certificates um, if you need to create a resume there's some really nice looking modern resumes in here uh, that you can create and you just using the template you just have to move uh, information retype things drag pictures in and you'll see that help when I use the templates after uh, if you want to create a book cover if you're uh, what if you have students or you want to create a book cover uh, for a project uh, you can go ahead and here and create some very professional looking book covers that look very authentic uh, I'll do my example off one of these book covers today uh, if I keep scrolling down you can see do you need a trifold here there's lots of examples for trifolds and again everything looks so professional in here um, what I've talked about already I use the YouTube uh, thumbnail uh, one right here to create my thumbnails here and there's YouTube channel art also uh, that I uh, create uh, to create my YouTube channel art in so anyways let's go ahead and I'm just gonna click on one and I'm just gonna show one example but it, it it's it goes across all of them if you know how to just bring in some pictures and some fonts how to change it then you'll get the idea of how easy this is so I'm just gonna go ahead and click on uh, this one or uh, this uh, book cover here and open this up and uh, I'm just gonna create an example book cover here uh, I'll probably be a little bit random uh, with it uh, the one thing you want to um, notice is when you go through and these are your templates on the side notice some say free and some have a dollar sign in well this is going to be a part of the uh if you're having part of the if you want to do the paid for uh part of canva and pay the monthly subscription uh but for my case i'm i tend to get by with the free ones and find that they work quite quite uh, quite well so if i go to uh this one uh, let's see I'll just click on the edge one here I can see it's a free one I click on it and it gives me this template this nice looking uh, template of a book cover here uh, and now it's very easy to change here so uh, with the font so what I can do is change the color and the size and the type of font very easily if I just click on this font you can see uh, right away I get the options of choosing a different font uh, uh, but not that's not too good of one but uh, I, I just want to show you how easy it is to change here uh, if you find the size too large you have the size one uh, right through here uh, what you can change it to I'll just quickly 
I'll make it a little bit bigger. Again, this is a little bit random to show you how to make the changes here. And you also have your color here. Uh, you can you have um, uh, the palette that you can choose from here, or if you wanted to pick uh, from the color code or enter the number in, you can uh, do that right there. Uh, so very easily to uh, to pick a different color and to change it like so. You can delete it very easily just by clicking delete. Uh, you can see uh, if you want a few different options of whether uppercase, the list, the left. So if I didn't want it uppercase, um, all lowercase, you can just click on there. Um, depending, do you want it a list? Do you want a left, center, right? You can see there's a copy, transparency. I'm just going to change it back to white so we can see it a little bit better there and kind of show you on the list here. Uh, if I want to change the transparency of it and you can see now I can see through it a little bit better. Uh, with these, you can also move things to the to the back depending on how you want things layered behind things or not. Uh, so right now it's behind the picture. If I move it forward, it's in front of the picture here. Uh, you have an option to, here if you want to copy the this whole page. Um, also, if you wanted two pages, uh, if to create it, you can see it creates a whole copy. Uh, you could be working on two at a different time to see maybe there's some changes in it. So very easy to work with your fonts here. If you wanted to add in any other fonts, go over here to check out the text here and you have this long list of, uh, you can see where you can add a heading or a subheading, but then you have these ones that are already set up for you that are free. Uh, so this is why I, I think it just saves so much time with the uh, template, so, uh, what they have here and they have a lot of free ones. So if you wanted to change it, if I uh, wanted to put this on the book cover uh, here, so you can see it will use that. If you don't like it, just quickly delete it, uh, look for a different one, uh, maybe you want something like this uh, and then you can play with the colors um, again on it here so very easy to make these changes uh, to make a great looking book cover or whatever the template uh, that you have on it here so take a look at all the text options that you have uh, if you need any elements. So elements uh, can be from uh, different images and different things you can put on from the icons. Uh, so if you needed a shape, you can see, again, everything's going to be listed whether it's free or not. If you wanted to draw a shape on this at any way, uh, you can uh, bring this up here. Uh, you can change the color uh, depending on how you want it on your on your on your piece of work uh, that you're working on here. Uh, I'm just going to go uh, over to uh, you can see that there's frames. Uh, again, I'm not going to go through each one. They're self-explanatory. It works really, really uh, easy. If you need some illustrations to use, you can see uh, right through here, uh, there's many different things uh, that you can put into it. You can search for something in particular. Uh, if I click on it, you can see it goes in. Uh, it shows the color scheme in here too. Uh, if you did, if you do want to change it, something to match uh, with different ones, you can easily do that uh, or change the color completely. Uh, you can resize these. Uh, like so. Uh, again, you can twist it by grabbing it, uh, send it. And again, this is the layer part I was talking about. If you wanted to send it to a different uh, uh, different layer, you can send it back. I'm going to hit back right there. And it's still there. You can see it's just behind now. So again, so many different options here. I'm just going to delete a few of these things now. Um, delete this, delete this. Now, what about uploading your own images? You can do that. Uh, let's say I didn't want this as the background. Oh, let me show you one thing you can do with the background before. So if I double click on this here, you can see that the whole image was right there. Well, maybe I want more of this showing. Uh, then I can hit move it over. And if I hit the check mark, you can see that it centers differently on my uh, on my book cover that I have there. So uh, it depends on how you want to uh, position it on your design. So again, if I cl double click on it, you can see I get that option uh, there. So again, if I have the picture, um, if I have the picture the way I want, you can see that I have a few different options down below. I have the filter. Uh, do I want to add a different filter uh, to this? You can see how it's changing in the background, uh, the intensity of it, uh, depending on how I move, uh, how I move it. You have advanced options uh, down below that you can get a little bit more uh, and play with getting that exact look that you want here. Um, also, you have your cropping uh, feature on here. Uh, you can see. Uh, 
depending on uh, how you want it uh, to position. Again, you can resize this and move this uh, around uh, to fit it differently on it and just hit the check mark when you're done. So if I didn't want that image, if I wanted my own image, um, let's say if I just grab this, I'm just going to click this and I'm going to delete here to get rid of this background and I'm going to put my own background. You can kind of see that there's an image there taking its place. If I wanted to get rid of this one, I could do the same thing uh, and delete it and it goes all white. Remember you do have an undo button right up here. So if you didn't want to delete something, just undo, uh, just to undo it here. I'm actually going to get rid of uh, both of them there. Uh, I'm going to put a new image in the background. So I'm just going to go over to my uploads here. Uh, so what I do is I upload right from my computer. Uh, I just click uh, on this one right here and then you can see I can pick something from my computer. I could open it and it would upload into this spot. I could connect through my Facebook if I wanted to do it that way too. So I already have this image uploaded. Uh, I'm just going to click on it here. This is an image I took last night. My three-year-old twins like to uh, uh, kind of get into each other's bed and they sleep a little better and I'm, I'm good. Whatever sleep makes them sleep through the night. I'm, I'm very happy. They're very busy boys right now. Uh, so uh, when I uh, put this image in and all the other things that if I uh, double uh, double click on or I can add my filters. Uh, I think the filters uh, kind of give it that professional look depending on that uh, whatever you want that feeling on uh, with your book uh, cover. And you can do all the same things with the images and centering in it. Uh, but if you wanted other images too, uh, do remember in the elements over here uh, there are free photos photos. Uh, so if I click on the free photos, you can see there's uh, many to choose from. They actually have, they, you can see 1 million images here, but they're not all free if you search for something. So if I was looking for a computer uh, to put in here, uh, you can see it will search and there's some free things uh, that I could put in here, but then they have the charge here. And that goes back to you can go uh, and do the monthly subscription. Uh, and I'll, show, I'll just show you at the end how you do upgrade at the if you do want that. Uh, so this kind of covers um, all the different things for, uh, from the different backgrounds you can choose uh, through it. So everything's very easy to use in this. Just click on and you'll see just dragging across how, how uh, extremely simple they've made this uh, procedure here at the end if you like what you have uh, you can share it here so I could post it to Facebook or tweet it uh, email it to somebody what I do is I download it you can see I have download options for the web uh, for if you want high quality, the PNG, the PDF, uh, PDF or print, uh, which are the higher quality, you have different options uh, to go through and you can also make it public like so. So I hope you like this little walkthrough of Canva today. It's a great simple program. And as I said, I think the free option, oh, I was gonna show you, uh, if I go back uh, to this, if you're looking for the upgrade option uh, here, if I just go to my account here, you can see that there's an upgrade here. Uh, you can do a 30 day free trial on it and it looks like it's going to be $12.95 a month but if I do once a uh do one bill 120 so about 10 bucks a month on it so uh, and that will give you uh, the different uh, options so there is a 30-day uh, trial if you wanted to try to see all the options available uh, to you uh, so again yeah I hope you like this uh, walkthrough of Canva today it's a great program uh, to use if you have please share it with a few other people uh, get some images ready for your classroom uh, or for your social media or for your blog using this program uh, uh, so yeah so I'll see you next time if you liked what you see please remember subscribe to my channel and thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.